It is the year 2065, and life on Earth has been barely habitable due to severe heat and drought, baking water very scarce. One evening at a farm, a bright light from a car wakes the man named Junior, and he later comes down with his wife Henrietta to check it out. A stranger named Terence comes over, claiming that he is sent by the company called Outermore to talk about the opportunity to live in space. Terence explains that they've been trying to figure out ways to live in space from Moon to Mars, but then they end up building a space station which will become their next planet, and it is his job to get the people who will be on the first wave of resettlement. The company came up with a lottery, and it turns out that Junior has luckily made it to the list. Junior says that they've never been to an airplane before, and his wife would hate to fly. However, Terence makes it clear that it is only Junior who will go to the space station after a two-year test. The visitor explains that the test requires physical strength and skill set that Junior has. Junior asks what will happen if he refuses, because there's no way he would leave Henrietta alone for a year or two to fly off to another planet. Terence explains that it is made mandatory by the government just like conscription during the old wars. After the discussion, Junior walks Terence to his car and the visitor later drives off. Junior goes back into the house to find his wife lying on the bed, ready to sleep. He asks to talk about Terence's proposal, but Henrietta says she's not in the mood to discuss anything. Junior tries to join her in bed, but the wife asks him to sleep in the guest room, and Junior reluctantly agrees. The next morning, Junior gets up and drives to work while his wife takes her bike and heads to her job where she spends her entire shift struggling to focus. That night, Henrietta goes to the guest room, half-dressed, and starts making love with her husband while kissing and whispering how much she misses him. The next morning, Henrietta wakes Junior up with a lot of questions about their marriage, but Junior jokingly tries to take her mind off it. Henrietta apologizes for being distant from him, and the two get to reconcile. One year later, Terence returns and informs them that he will be staying with them for a few weeks to observe, record, and monitor Junior's daily activities as a selected candidate for Outermore. This news greatly upsets Henrietta, who starts frantically cleaning the house because of their visitor. Junior tries his best to calm her down, telling her to enjoy the little time they have left together. Days later, while working at the factory, Junior starts thinking about his journey to space. He leaves work immediately and drives to his wife's workplace where she is surprised to see him. He then asks Henrietta to come with him so they can spend some quality time together. His wife tries to convince him to wait until after her work hours, but Junior insists, so they get into the car and drive off. They drive through the deserted flatlands and forest until they find a shaded spot where they both lay down, later make love. Afterward, Junior chases Henrietta playfully to retrieve his pants that she took, and as they reach the truck, Henrietta spots a horse and pats it. Junior looks in the direction the horse came from and sees smoke, prompting him to run towards it. Henrietta runs after him, screaming at the top of her lungs for him to stop. Her husband later reaches a farmhouse that is on fire and attempts to run into it, but is stopped by men who are burning the old barn. Junior wakes up in pain, and his wife rushes to his side to calm him down. Junior tells Henrietta that they are in danger and some men tried to harm him last night. Henrietta says that the men stopped him because he is about to run into the fire, and she asks him why would he do that. Before he can answer, Terence comes over saying that perhaps he did it on purpose to avoid being sent to space. Junior denies it, and when he complains that he can't feel his arm, Terence explains that it is from the anesthetic because he just got a minor surgery on his injured shoulder. During dinner, Terence tells Junior that his wife will not be alone because Outermore will have someone company Henrietta while her husband is away, and this makes Junior furious. However, Terence assures that the replacement is not another man, but a biological replica of him. Terence continues his observations of Junior, even following him to work and recording every activity. At home, the husband also undergoes a series of physical and psychological training. Terence asks Junior about his marriage to Henrietta, explaining that his replacement needs to know everything to keep the marriage safe until his return. One afternoon, Junior overhears an interview recording of his wife made by Terence. He traces the audio back to Terence's bag in the guest room where he finds various pictures of Henrietta's body. Junior also finds a camera that their guest has placed in the wall overlooking their bathroom. He removes the bandages from his shoulder, only to discover that he has no stitches. He later goes downstairs and finds Terence and his wife seemingly having a good time together. Henrietta tries to dance with him, and Junior whispers that he doesn't want her and Terence talking alone anymore. Hearing this changes the wife's mood, so she leaves her husband and dances in the kitchen by herself. The men then go in for their usual session where Junior pours out his thoughts about his life, and he later gets furious as he shouts at Terence and starts punching the wall. Henrietta rushes upstairs, banging the door, but Terence doesn't let her in. 
When Junior finally calms down, he washes off his blood and sweat, and then later gets into bed with his wife. The next morning, Junior tells Henrietta that he wants them to go somewhere together and start a family when he gets back. He tells her that whatever decisions they make, they have to do it together, to which Henrietta agrees. Later that day, Henrietta and Terence go out with the truck. Junior sits against a tree on the farm, drinking a cup of coffee, when he notices someone watching him from afar. He rushes into the house to get his gun, and goes back into the farm, chasing and shooting at the person he saw. Getting closer, Junior discovers that they are outer more soldiers, who quickly get on their space shuttle and fly off. Junior calls them cowards as he continues shooting at their shuttle. Suddenly, someone punches Junior in the face twice and tags him with a tracker. Junior wakes up later at night and heads back home. At the front door, his wife just arrived with Terence who is talking to an officer, saying that he will get his things and start going. Junior sneaks inside and starts hearing his voice playing on a tape. He goes to the bathroom and peeps through the hole where he sees Terence talking to Henrietta. His wife is talking about going to another place, but she lacks the courage to let go of Junior. She prefers leaving a letter for her husband instead of trying to justify her reasons for leaving him. Junior then enters the room and tells Terence to leave his house. He accuses their guest of desiring his wife and planning to keep her company after he leaves. Henrietta tries to explain to Junior what is really going on, but her husband suddenly passes out. That evening, a space shuttle arrives, and Junior later comes in, telling Henrietta that he missed her. Terence then takes him to the kitchen where his replacement has just passed out, and Junior is astonished to see how he looks so real. It turns out that the real Junior already went to the station two years ago, and the one we see from the start of the movie is his replica, which was activated by the headlights of the car on the night Terence drove into the driveway. Terence explains to the replica that he is actually the replacement, and he apologizes for deceiving him, saying that he only did it to test his full capacity and function. The replica starts crying and calling Henrietta, and as the wife goes to console him, everyone is astonished to see that the two have learned to love each other. Henrietta starts cursing as they take her away, and then they start packing the replica into the plastic sheet. Days later, the couple try to continue their lives as if nothing happened. However, Junior is unhappy knowing that his wife had been making love a lot with his replica. Henrietta explains that she saw him in the replica, but her husband is not convinced. She asks that they leave and go somewhere else, but Junior refuses, claiming that the farmhouse is his inheritance. Miraculously, the rain starts falling, and Henrietta rushes outside, calling her husband to join her. She tries to pull him into the rain, but he falls, and as she tries to help him up, he pushes her away and leaves her alone outside. The next morning, Junior wakes up and can't find his wife. He sees a letter she left for him, but the note is empty. Junior goes looking for her in the diner where she works, but she is not there. He goes back home to prepare dinner and later sits at the table alone and crying. The bright headlight appears again and together with it is his wife. Junior is happy to see her and from then on, the couple live happily ever after. However, the real Henrietta is shown sitting on an airplane, traveling to someplace else. The night when the replica overheard her talking about leaving Junior, she was actually referring to the real Junior, as she wants to leave her husband and go with the replica whom she learned to love.